Welcome to another beautiful day in Tel Aviv and I'm walking right here next to my house visiting places that usually I'm not going to I mean you know what I'm it's unbelievable if I can choose to go to Jerusalem or to Tel Aviv I'm choosing Jerusalem but look how beautiful it is it's a Saturday evening, um, 26 degrees Celsius, around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and this is so beautiful here. And this is the best time to be in Tel Aviv, in the sea. Oh, look at the kids, the kids. they're selling lemonade. It's, um, it's not so hot now. Uh, it was 30 degrees, which is not so hot as well to that uh, time of the year. Uh, but uh, I prefer to be here because of the sun. <laughs> At daytime and nighttime, it's a little bit different. First of all, you can see that no one can enter the sea now because it's a little bit rough. And because it's too late for that. There's no lifeguards. What you can see in front of you is a study of um, Ben-Gurion, the first Prime Minister of Israel that lived in Tel Aviv. And he used to do the same thing that you see here every day. And then he rode with his horse on, riding the horse back to his, his house in Tel Aviv. And one time he did it with a swimming suit. <gasps> he got a ticket. At that time you couldn't do that. Today, as you can see, everyone is walking with their swimming suit now. It's Tel Aviv, it's a modern city. It's uh, totally not conservative. Then in that matter, everything is allowed in Tel Aviv. And, and I must say that it's beautiful. Everyone are, everyone are accepted here. Uh, I love that idea. You can be a Christian, a Jew, a Muslim, straight, gay, woman, man. I know that for some of you it's a little bit difficult or different, but please accept it. This is Tel Aviv. It's like New York, in a way. A little bit different, but the same idea. Good, it's not so sunny now. Uh, two hours ago it was too hot for me. Guys, I uploaded to YouTube, ch my YouTube channel, more than 20,000 videos, almost 21,000 videos of everything about Tel Aviv. Um, then I'm, uh, I will be happy if you will subscribe to my channel because you are the only tourist. I'm not working because of the war now. Look how beautiful it is. Some of the seashells are open 24 uh, all year, every moment of the year. And this is reality in Israel. It's a memory for the victims of war and the people who have been kidnapped by Hamas ISIS in Gaza. I'm not going into politics, but I won't accept Hamas anymore. Then can write whatever you want, but that's it. After October 7, after the genocide of them, I'm not going to accept them anymore. What will be in the future, I don't know. Right now, they are the enemies of the democratic war, the democratic world, and um, humanity. Here in Tel Aviv and in Israel, we are trying to be alive, to show the world and to show ourselves that Hamas won't stop us. Then look how beautiful it is. It's full with the people here. There is, um, there are so many coffee places with good music, uh, good food, but you know, it's, I call it tourist trip, mainly because it's, uh, if it's hot, you are going to buy whatever, 
they have and quality food, but it's a little bit more, a little bit too expensive for me. Hey, 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 let's dance. I'm trying not to talk a lot, but I'm talking. Uh, if you don't like it, first of all, subscribe to my channel and then put music at the background. Oh, I don't know if you can see what ice, you know. This is oh, was the end of the craziness. I mean, they are so good. Totally different than me. And let's go to see something. Oh, let's go to see what they are doing. Because from time to time, they are more than just exercising here. I'm following one of those guys <laughs> that knows what to do or knows how to do that. Sup, sup, sup. Oh, no, that's me, as you can see. But look at that. They are practicing. Uh, they are practicing uh, so many things. I mean, to show you that they are stronger than nature. That is the man! That was the man! That was so nice! I can be here for hours. They are doing everything that I cannot. Young people, you saw me. I'm not young anymore. Let's continue. You got the message. Wait, yes.
I love Tel Aviv. I love Israel. For me, it's the best country in uh, the Middle East, for sure. But uh, one of the best in the world. I cannot see myself uh, living that uh, amazing uh, country. This is the real thing of Israel. That, that part of the sea has got a red flag, and we have a lot of them. A red flag, it's like a, um, a symbol of one of the best places in the world. Um, it's clean, it's beautiful, it's not so expensive, um, it's open a lot. And there's so many parts that belong to different player people. Here, for example, it's uh, for families. What you saw there is more for sport activities and you saw only a, a little bit of it. And another coffee place, restaurant, lots of good food. Blue flag, blue flag, that's the name of it. Another beautiful thing is that when you are reaching the sea and you just want to study or to read something, you will find a lot of libraries like that. You can take a, a book and read. And if you do have books that you don't need in your house, you can bring it to here. You can find it all over the seashore of uh, Israel, actually all over Israel, not only here. You want to, uh, you won't see a lot of religious people, mainly because uh, religious people will be at the synagogue now, and uh, it's not allowed to go to the sea on Shabbat. But in Tel Aviv, uh, the majority are not religious. It's so difficult for me to tell you if this is a Christian or Muslim couple or Jewish one. I need to talk with them to understand it. And this is the beauty of it. Uh, there's one law in Tel Aviv. If you hate someone, this is not your place. Another place that you won't find me there. Another option to drive in Tel Aviv is to use the uh, electric cars, electric uh, scooters. Uh, it's not for me. It's not for me. It's a little bit too dangerous for me. Uh, for me I, it's it's horrible, but as you can see, there's, there are special lanes for that. Volleyball! There are more than 10 miles of seashores in, in Tel Aviv. I, I will uh, take you to, uh, to the places near my house. If it's okay by you, I'm not going to do everything today. Maybe in winter time. Winter time, I love to be here. It's not so crowded. It's actually more beautiful. Folk dancing is here on Sabbath, early, early morning. Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv. At even time, it's full with bars, alcohol, beautiful people. This is the best time for jogging, as you can understand.
There are so many hotels next to the sea. Good hotels. I prefer the boutique hotels, but you know, boutique hotels cost a lot of money, and anyhow, I'm not using them. But uh, boutique hotel is excellent, ac actually, very good idea. But if you want it cheaper, it's not cheap, but cheaper than what you think, those hotels can be quite good option. Golda. It's excellent ice cream. We have better than Golda, but if you are next to Golda after a nice a hot day, then Golda can be a very good idea. You can see that it's quite good for that couple that really enjoying good, good, good ice cream. Cross it to the shade. We reach Gordon. Gordon. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so sweet. Gordon is a nice club. Also, I think it belongs to the city hall. Uh, the difference between uh, regular club health club sport club is that they have a salty pool it's not fresh water pool they're purifying the water from the mediterranean sea and uh, i don't know it was so strange for me i uh, i don't like it if uh, to use that then why not to go to the sea itself and enjoy well, not the best water ever, but um, it doesn't cost money. Oh, yeah. People ask me from Tiger Town, how can uh, the people of Tel Aviv enjoy themselves and the people of Gaza suffering? It's a so horrible question. The people of Gaza are not supposed to suffer, but they are suffering because of their leaders that they are vote for. And this is Hamas. If you want to stop the problem in Gaza, it's so easy. Stop Hamas. Don't stop Tel Aviv. Don't stop the life in Israel. It's very, very easy solution. Oh, about that, remember, so the sea. The Sea of Tel Aviv, it's from the um, river to the sea, then so many of you, or so many of the pro-Gaza supporters, which are, for me, awful people, um, or naive, that is the sea, say Mediterranean Sea. The sea from, Jerusalem, from Israel, I mean the river, is Jordan River. When you're mentioning from the river to the sea, it actually lets kill the Jews in Israel, in the world, and let give that place to the terrorist from Gaza. Mm. Lovely, isn't it? Hello, dears. Come on, he wants you. He loves you. I want to be in love with you. 
I'm so nasty. Let them do it alone. They don't need me for that. Amazing. We are reaching uh, the Pats seashore. There is a special place for the pet. Why? Because in Israel we accepting everyone except of terrorists. Uh, we don't have any problem with the Palestinians in the West Bank. Some of them are excellent some of them are not and you can actually think whatever you want but to vote for terrorists like Hamas and Jihad Islamic no way hello Oh, it's not yet. It's not yet. We are in Hilton. This is an Israeli game. I don't know if you do play with it in your seashores. It's called Matkot, Israeli invention. <coughs> I used to play with it a lot as a child. But they're quite professional, I must say. Oh, it's good. They are good. They're not supposed to be in the sea anymore, and most of the people are listening to the lifeguards. In about a month from now, I won't be able to be here because it's going to be too humid. Now it's, uh, I'm sweating a little bit but it's a little bit. Uh, at, um, in August, it's going to be around 32 degrees day and night with 85% of humidity. And uh, for me, it's too, too difficult. Last time that I've been in the sea was many, many, many years ago. And uh, yeah, that's actually because my daughter forced me to go there. I uh, myself don't like it very much and I live next to the sea, very smart of me. Someone order a pizza from Domino's. Or not, it's not for Domino's.
from that. Look at those faces and tell me how bad they can be. They cannot, I know. Next is the garbage. I know that for some of you it's like um, the Antichrist against humanity, against whatever. This is Tel Aviv. And remember, if you don't accept it, you're not supposed to live in Tel Aviv. The biggest community of Israel of gays are in the city. I have totally no problem with anything here. You can see the proud colors. It's by the um, by the city hall. This looks like a police car. It's not hot. Car scooters. Now you can hear the dogs because we are very close to the pet shore. If you want to bring your pet, especially dogs, be my guest. There's a special place for them because there are so many rocks here that you cannot use it anyhow. Listen to the sea. Look how beautiful it is. I love animals. I'm not sure that he wants to go in, but look at that up there, and the others. He didn't find it. I think she won't find it too. Now behind the wooden wall, it's the religious sea. Uh, seashore, of course, I don't mind about it. I think they deserve to have their own private place because they are in Judaism. You cannot be um, almost naked with no swimming suits, with men, especially stranger men. Then they have their own place. Now, because it's Shabbat, it's uh, for uh, family. Usually, families are going here, there. But in uh, Sunday, Tuesday, and uh, Thursday, it's for the women, and the rest, it's for the men. Usually, religious women. Oh, look at the T-shirts. Bring them home now. We still have uh, more than 120 uh, people who've been kidnapped by the terrorists of Gaza. Uh, two days ago, we succeeded to bring three dead bodies that um, were killed at October 7 uh, from uh, north of Gaza, 
Rafa is next and uh, I think Israel won't stop until they will oh, well uh, control Gaza and destroy all the tunnels and they won't stop until uh, the hostage will uh, be back again in Israel alive or not alive and that is was 95% of uh, the Israel actually thinks there's no left and right in that matter uh, we are really united with that remember I came from the left party I was sure that the uh, Gaza who had their own place for themselves wasn't controlled by Israel Gaza was controlled by Egypt occupied by Egypt and uh, we occupied it from Egypt not from uh, Palestine and um, from the 90s it's their country they could do whatever they want but they decided to destroy Israel that is their only aim uh, then in that case you must understand that Israel cannot stop until Hamas will be defeated and if Israel will stop before that it's gonna be very sad another blue flag um, seashore it's called Metzitzim and soon we will reach the port of, uh, of, of Tel Aviv remember you're looking at the sea from the anti-semitic sentence the, of uh, the terrorist and the terrorist supporter from uh, the river to the sea and now at least those people can understand what is that sea? Or how it looks like? Look at the people. The DJ is totally gonna be here at night time. Remember, at night time it's totally different. The food here is excellent. The service is also metzitzim. It's the next to the port of Tel Aviv, the southern part of the port. The port is there and we're gonna, we are going to visit it as well. Those are ashtrays. Then if you're smoking a cigarette, which is bad, you can take the ashtrays and then bring it back. Then someone else can clean it and then bring it back. Then someone else will uh, use it. The blue a flag. Uh, seashore you cannot enter with plastic into it you must keep it clean and uh, it's beautiful that everyone are doing it as a child we used to bring our daughter to here first of all a little bit of playground but it's like a small pool there next to the wall of the port of Tel Aviv Um, the restrooms are for free you can actually take a shower change your clothes here if someone happened there's a doctor here who can help you medical services you can find it in a few places in the seashore and uh, the lifeguard can call them in and in less than five minutes they will be next to you I'm walking more than half an hour now. I hope that you're still with me. I hope that you don't hate me because of that little bit political tour. But I have to talk about it because I'm getting a lot of hate speech from people who doesn't understand how hard the uh, people in Gaza. Yes, they are innocent people. No, most of them actually voted for Hamas. And to vote for Hamas is to vote for the destroy of Israel and to kill every Jew in the world. And it's not the end of it. The end is destroying the Christians as well. Because the world must be controlled by Hamas and those terror organizations. I mean, think about 9-11. Remember it? it? Wasn't so long a time ago. You're still alive. 
Oh, except of the 3,000 people who've been killed by Al Qaeda. Think about it. Then that's the port of Tel Aviv. The port of Tel Aviv is not actually functioning as a port, as a harbor. Now we do have better places, but because the Arabs in uh, Jaffa uh, decided to tell the British mandate you are not going to use that place, the British gave the uh, um, Tel Avivis a permit to build their own bo uh, their own port. Taking a risk. Ta -li la la la. Taking a risk. But uh, that's me. Very slippery. The port is owned by the city hall and it's open seven days a week. Remember, it's uh, Tel Aviv, it's not a kosher city. Uh, you can find uh, seafood and pork in almost every place. And because it's not kosher, it can be open seven days a week and you can find a beautiful steak with creamy sauce which is so not kosher you, can, you must divide divide, uh, divide uh, meat and, uh, and uh, um, dairy products according to kosher food and of course you cannot, uh, uh, kosher places are not open on Shabbat and some of the places are kosher and you will see that they are closed now they might be open tonight after sunset because sunset according to Judaism is going to be Sunday. The day in the Israel, according to the Jews, begins at sunset. That's why Friday night it's already Saturday and it ends on sunset. Then, in that case, in around 7, between 7 to 8 p.m., it's going to be already Sunday. Then, this is the port of Tel Aviv. And until uh, two months ago, that place was closed because, uh, I don't know, because they wanted to renovate it. And now it's open. And if it's open, we must enter it. Look how beautiful it is.
Fascinating, isn't it? That's the entrance to the port. But look how beautiful is the place around there. Like a shopping mall, excellent restaurants, uh, um, food market. But look, it's fascinating. I cannot stop looking at it. We are walking together around 40 minutes now. Uh, if you reach that place and you still not hate me, just write me something. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have so many videos without politics of the of Israel and the Holy Land. Um, sorry that it's a little bit uh, politic, but you must understand. You're welcome. I took some pictures of them. Uh, Israel is in a situation of horror because of uh, the crazy people from Gaza that control Gaza, that support by Gaza, and sadly support by so many people in Europe and um, in America. The funniest thing is that the gay community of so many places in the world are for the Palestinians in Gaza. It's like to say, and we do have KFC, I'm a chicken and supporting KFC. This is, if I can actually use the word S, the most S thing in the word, the letter S. There is no, how should I say it? It's the dumbest place, the dumbest thing in the world. All right, then, it was a pleasure to be with you. I know that I was a little bit nasty today, but I'm, I had to say it. Then, um, from the river, and now you know what is the sea, Israel will be almost democratic, always democratic and free. Thank you very much for watching that important video. Share it with everyone else. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.